uh, what to do if a child have an aggressive behavior Bismillahirrahmanirrahim <coughs> uh, when children does that uh, have an aggressive behavior things like that but uh, we have to know the root cause of that because uh, if we don't know we are just trying to be abusive to the children and uh, we're going to be harsh on us uh, our children but we have to know the root cause the the first root cause is the reason that is coming into the home is a halal the father is earning halal and uh, they are not doing something haram at home they are not watching movies they are not watching uh, uh, they are not playing a uh, violation games like uh, killing and uh, murder games and uh, that has a violence in the games and they watch the, what they are watching on a TV so there's a uh, many many factors that affect a child's brain so in order to come to to un understand that why they have aggressive behavior we have to come to the root cause they, and there are many many factors that can affect a child life because uh, it could be the parents are not nice to him and uh, what they're watching on the TV what kind of games they are playing are then educating themselves and what type of material they already so there are many many things but the first thing is if the risk that comes to the hall into the home that is a halal way earning of the of the father this is because what happens like when you have a something halal haram risk coming at home what happens like the haram risk goes into the child uh, stomach and this the first thing the haram does that it affect the soul and if that corrupt the soul it automatically changes uh, the behavior and also uh, the food they are eating that is halal food and is if that's in an Islamic countries so the parents have to know the the kids are not eating something which is forbidden in islam that is not haram because what happens like any haram that goes into our body regardless even even it's a child or it is our own self so whatever the food that we, we are uh, eating we have to know it, it that's halal because what happens like if we eat uh, unhalal uh, food and that is something not permissible the first thing that does that is really corrupt our our soul so when it corrupt our soul it's, it's naturally uh, changing our behavior and the first thing that happens with the haram it corrupt your soul Allah gave us a pure soul but it starts corrupting it's getting dark and the first thing what happens that it changes the way of thinking then it changes the behavior it changes everything and there's so much corruption corruption going on at home and uh, everybody's manner is changing and the way of talk changing and there's no islamic environment so there's a many factors that affect the, a child it could be a video game they are, what they are watching on a tv are they watching something like a violent games and uh, uh, they're watching movies and the cartoon music and how the the parents are reacting with the child and if they are loving they are they are being soft to the child so they are there could be uh, many factors but what we have to do we have to be nice to them first of all we have to show them respect our manners we have to love them care for, care for them nicely and then we we have to be very nicely the more uh, we going to be uh, aggressive to them their behavior becomes more aggressive uh, to us and to everybody else so we have to be nicely and we have to be soft we have to control our anger and uh, that's the way it's going to be go because what happens like if we will be aggressive to them naturally they're going to get a, re a rebellion and they could do anything super thing so we have to be very nice and soft because the, they are into the very uh, sensitive age that they that they expect the love and the care from the parents and uh, things change nicely not the hard way but we have to be a uh, soft way.